Next week, Federer will play his first competitive match since losing to Stefano Tsitsipas in the Australian Open fourth round last month. The Swiss star is the top seed and seven-time champion in Dubai, where he owns a home and regularly holds his warm weather training bases. Tournament CEO and Vice Chairman Cole McLaughlin is delighted to have the Swiss star back at the event, which could see him win his 100th career title, every year. We talked to Roger about playing Dubai and we are obviously very happy when he does include us in his schedule, he told Golf News. Roger Federer returns to Madrid Open. Roger has been coming to Dubai since 2002 when he was a young player and making his way up the rankings. From the very start, the media were talking about Roger being a very special player who had a very calm demeanor and was down to earth. These qualities have inured him to his legion of fans around the world. He is a familiar figure in Dubai at different times of the year and the Dubai fans have really taken them to their hearts and cheer him on through the tournament and we are always happy to welcome back our seven-time champion. Roger Federer has won in Dubai seven times, the last in 2016, image, Getty, when we organized the photo shoot on the helipad of Burj Al Arab back in February 2005, we had no doubt that Roger would be the ideal player to team up with the legendary Andre Agassi for this activity, the photo, we were told by the ATP, was seen by half the planet, McLaughlin also gave a special mention to US Open and Australian Open champion Naomi Osaka, who despite crashing out of the WTA Dubai event in the first round, was one of the main attractions at the tournament. He added, there were a couple of young WTA players that we were impressed with last year and Naomi Osaka was certainly one of them. Federer and Agassi played tennis on a helipad on top of the Burj Al Arab 1,053 feet in the air image, Getty, when she played last year, she was ranked 48 and made it through to the quarterfinals before losing to eventual champion Alina Svitolina. Her obvious talent and determination set her apart then and it is fantastic to see how far she has come in the intervening year. Immediately after losing in Dubai she took her first steps to stardom by winning the Indian Wells title, she then defeated Serena Williams at the Miami Open before stunning the tennis world, and Serena again, by winning the US Open. She has continued her fantastic run this season, winning the Australian Open.